below this video is to show you the skill Foley catheter insertion. To begin with, we always want to verify the physician's order and introduce ourselves to the patient and identify them using two forms of identification. We always provide for privacy and explain the procedure to the patient, making sure that they understand prior to beginning. You'll want to first wash your hands and apply clean gloves, and then we want to provide perineal care prior to beginning Foley insertion. Once that's complete, we'll remove our gloves and cleanse our hands again, and then we're ready to begin. We want our patient laying in supine position with their legs abducted and outward. If your patient's unable to cooperate or understand, you may need to ask for assistance for this procedure. Foley catheter insertion is sterile, so we want to always remember to remain sterile during the procedure. Everything that you need for Foley catheter insertion comes in a little kit, so we're ready to begin. You open your package and you want to keep this little bag typically for um, your trash. So I'm going to go ahead and begin. This is sterile, so I'm going to start opening this package away from me. And we have our sterile gloves. So I'm going to go ahead and begin by putting those on. Once your sterile gloves are on, you're ready to begin the procedure. Inside your package, you have a drape to place under the patient. You'll want to put the plastic side down and ensure not to contaminate your hands during this. You just want to reach right in between, open up, and lay down. Second, we have This to place over the patient's perineal area. This just helps prevent any splatter and it also helps for you to see the area. We'll want to again place this without contaminating our hands. If at any time during this procedure you do contaminate, you would want to stop and put on a new pair of sterile gloves. Inside our package we have are betadine swab sticks, so you always want to verify the patient has no allergies to betadine prior to beginning. We have our saline to inflate the bulb after insertion. We have our lubrication to place on the end of the catheter tip prior to insertion. And then you have a tube for specimen collection if needed to send to lab after insertion. Again, everything in here is sterile, so I'm good to touch this without contaminating. So to begin with, I'm gonna go ahead and open my lubrication, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray that in the tray so that I can insert the tip of the catheter in there. I'm gonna open my saline, sterile saline, and connect that so that that is also ready to use when I need that. We'll take the tip of our catheter out of the packaging and we're going to lay that in our lubrication. Open my swab sticks. There are three 
So we'll have those ready for cleaning as well. One hand will become dirty, one will maintain sterile. We'll take this hand and we're gonna place it on the patient's labia and we're going to open up and then we're gonna begin cleaning. We'll take one betadine stick at a time, starting with the area furthest away from you. So we'll do the left side from proximal to distal and then we're gonna to toss this in the trash. Second, we're going to do the area closest to me. So I'm going to do proximal to distal again on the right side and toss that in the trash. I'm going to use my last swab and I'm going to go from center to bottom and toss that. At this point, I'm ready to insert my Foley catheter, which is still sitting in the lubrication. And we want to keep this sterile. So we want to pull our little bag up and have that closer to the patient so that we don't contaminate. We'll start inserting into the urinary opening. And we're gonna insert until urine comes back into the tubing. Once you get to that point, you're gonna go ahead and, and advance this just a little further. And then we're going to inflate our bulb and then we'll remove that and trap, throw that in the trash. Stabilize your Foley catheter bag and hang that on the side of the bed. We do not place this on the rails. It just goes to the corner and to the side. If you needed a urine specimen during this, at this point, everything is still sterile, so you would be able to open the bottom of the bag and get your specimen from that into your specimen tube. And that is all you need to do for a female catheter insertion. Once you are complete, remove your gloves, wash your hands. We'll document how the patient tolerated the procedure. We also want to document the amount of urine, um, the color, the consistency. To insert a Foley catheter on a male patient, all steps are the same until you reach the point of cleaning the area. For a male patient, you would want to use your dirty hand as in with a female. And with this hand, you're going to grasp and hold perpendicular at a 90 degree angle. If the patient is not circumcised, we would want to retract the foreskin so that the urinary opening is visible. This hand is still sterile, so we'll use our betadine swabs and we'll clean in a circular motion starting from the inner center all the way around to the outer area of the head of the penis. Then we'll use our second swab and do that exact same thing from the center around in a circular motion and we'll toss that and then we'll use our last swab and we'll do the same thing one more time. Inner circular motion, and trash. Now, at our Foley catheter insertion, you want to insert this a little further than we did with the female. Again, you need that lubricated just as before, and we're going to go ahead and pick up our catheter bag, and it's sterile, and we're gonna lay that here, not contaminating the end of our catheter tip and we'll just insert that and ensure your patient is prepared. This will have to go in a little deeper and a little further than with a female. Once again, once you have urine flow, you will stop and then you will go ahead and advance that just a little further. Ensure that you get past the prostate area on the male patient and then you can inflate your bulb. After you have completed this, you'll want to ensure that you secure your Foley catheter to the side of the patient's leg in your little securement device.